save what many would consider a ready meal to gazelle calves. The calves remain orphaned after their mothers were killed by predators and separate incidences. Turera says he decided to take the calf home and pleaded with his mother to allow him feed it on goat milk. <laughs> He improvised a feeding bottle for the gazelle. The class 6 boy whose aspiration is to become an aircraft engineer nicknamed the young gazelle Lillian. The gazelle is grown up and is now pregnant ready to give birth. Currently, the two gazelles mix freely with family goats as the family dog protects them. Both are kept on a tether and when they are let free to graze, they find their way home from the grazing fields. Veronica Turere, who is Stanley's mother, says his love for wild animals began early in life. Stanley Sasa kaenda kuchunga akapata kwa mbuzi kwa huko mbolini akiwa anachunga mbuzi. She says the family has decided to support Turere and they readily take care of the gazelle when Turere is at school. Embakasi village borders Nairobi National Park to the south where human and wildlife conflict is intense.